Now then people, welcome back to the channel. Oh, first of all, let's start with a happy new year, okay? It's been freezing today, it's been quite mild, but uh, yeah, sorry no videos over Christmas, new year period. It is generally, um, obviously Christmas, I've got kids, got two businesses, so it's year end, family time, everything like that. So I hope you enjoyed your Christmas and your new year and you've got loads of plans for this year coming. As you saw by the title, yes, I have bought a Defender. Um, some subscribers already know that's been from the start that I've had a lot of new subscribers. So welcome to the channel. And everyone that is new here, don't forget if you do like it, remember stick a thumbs up, hit the little subscribe button, hit the little bell notification as well, because that'll also tell you when videos are coming out. So yes, bought a Defender. Uh, did I want to buy a Defender? No, but it came up at the right price not at the right time so it's always one of those things in it where basically you yeah when you're looking for something and you've got the money for something nothing's around uh this came up didn't really just about scrape the barrel just to get hold of it and i i bought it probably august i think last year so but near the coming like i say nearly six months um so yeah i'm cracking on with the work uh some of you already know if you follow me on instagram you know what sort of work's going on at the minute. I'm gonna take you in, uh, let's have a look at the Defender, let's see where we're going with it, let's see what my plans are, because I've sort of got a plan in my head what I want to do with it visually and engine-wise, chassis, everything like that. So let's take you in, uh, let's go have a look. So when we bought it, it actually looked like this. I'll stick a picture in now, okay. Um, yeah, we bought it, like I say, August time. Uh, it's a 1999 Defender 110. Yes, it's got a proper engine in. Yes, it's a TD5, uh, but the head gasket was totally gone. It literally only just about started, um, just enough to get it off the lorry and get it in here. Um, but apart from that, it wasn't too bad. We had a good look around it, and it's generally just sat there since, because uh, we've just been so busy with work. Um, so yeah, winter's our downtime, so we've got a little bit more time. You can probably see it in the background there. I'm going to walk you around in a minute. Yeah, 1999 Defender, 110 TD5. So let's go have a look. So here we have it, guys. At the minute, okay, yes, sorry about the flickering. I can't get away from that. It's, the lights are rubbish in here. We're meant to be having a new roof and new lights and all that this year. Um, but yeah, for some reason on LEDs, it just flickered like, like mad. So try and forget about it. But uh, yeah, here we have it. So it's obviously from when you've just seen that picture, it is being stripped. Okay, I'm gonna try and stand back as much as possible so you get a full view of it. Um, so yeah, there is a lot of parts that need changing, but that's what happens when you get a Defender at the right price. Okay, because as you all know, Defenders are ridiculously um expensive uh, it's just one of those things and, and the prices on them are only going up so um yeah we can't wait to get well the teeth's already into this build to be fair last night i just ordered about 600 pounds worth of parts um it's one of those things it's got to be done um and you know me things have got to be done right okay so let's just try and show you hopefully with a bit of light so in September, when we went to the Land Rover show, we got the A-pillars, because I know for a fact they needed to do it. I could see them straight off before we'd even stripped it. So I got them, got the feet there as well. So that was that section. Then we started stripping doors, bits and bobs like that. Realized the sill, this sill section's okay, but you can see with the B-pillar at the bottom, top's absolutely fantastic, but you can actually get a repair section from here down to the bottom, so that's been bought. There's an inner part and an outer, oh, sorry, an outer part and an inner part. So I bought both sides of that with that bottom section. But as you can see, as you're coming along and you're taking bits off, the inner sill is absolutely knackered. So ordered the inner sill, that is coming as well. So that will be getting replaced. I've also got a outer sill coming that will nicely hide that once it's all done. So it looks normal. Uh, C pillar, okay, so you can see down the bottom there where it is, but it's absolutely solid. From literally about there up, it is completely solid. So I've ordered the whole section, we'll rip it out, and um, we'll get a new one in there. So yeah, let me flip you around quickly. So that is the body section, okay. Um, 
for now. <laughs> I'll show you some more in a minute, because like I say, once you're stripping stuff, then you find out what's gonna happen with it. So what we've done is I've got A pillars both sides, I've got B pillars both sides, I've got C pillars both sides, um, and sills both sides. So that's that part. Hopefully you can see. <sighs> so the actual floor pan itself was was great. I can show you them, they're fantastic. There's no rot in them whatsoever. But as you start taking it out, you can see here, basically the footwell itself. You can see a little hole up here. All up here is okay, except for, come on, focus. Finishing off this top A pillar on the bulkhead here has started to go and it stops about here. We're gonna strip it all anyway. So just in case there is any more behind, I want it all done properly, but you can see on here, basically, yeah, that's starting to go. So what we've done, I've ordered the full footwell that comes up the top as well, here at the top of the pedals, covers all that. I'm gonna replace the whole lot. So all this side, this A pillar, this seal down the bottom, this section here, all the way up, and basically these top sections here come to, I think about here, all the way down. The outer is okay. But basically, all I wanted to do is just show you, hopefully you, can, you might not be able to see it with the, the light on, the LED, but you can see that it's not very nice in there. So that'll be getting replaced as well. So what I've done is this side, I've done exactly the same. C, B, A, sill, inner sill, sorry, and outer sill. As you can see by this one, same as the footwell, uh, sorry, same as the floor pan, the actual, footwell is solid but I've ordered a pair because the good thing with ordering them you can see up here as it runs up that's the A pillar that side which we've got but the actual uh, footwell here this section is here look you can see it where it's absolutely gone this side is not too bad where I said about replacing but they are renowned for going so if something's renowned for going why not prevent it and do it before? What I've said to you about servicing your vehicles and everything like that, get it done before anything happens. So basically once we've done this engine work, which I'll run you through in a minute, um, yeah, the bulkhead is all coming off, okay? Because it's not just that, that's the inner part of it. There is an outer part, which is here. Some of the subscribers have already seen that. So they're getting replaced. Obviously, this part's getting fully replaced anyway. Okay. Ordered a new section for there. So that'll be going on as well. Um, somebody did say to me the other day about, why didn't you just get a new bulkhead? Um, number one, they're like 700 quid. And actually just counting the price roughly last night, out of the 600, about 200 pound was on the bulkhead, which is not, to, you know, it's 200 pound. And I know the job's done right as well, because the whole bulkhead's coming out. You can see down here, another outrigger. The rest of them are all all right at the minute, as, as we've found. If we need any more, we'll order it. This was quite expensive, but that's gonna get marked up, chopped off, brand new outrigger on. You might just be able to see it's been repaired once before. Um, so yes, I could chop it out, repair it if I really wanted to, but I think it was, it was about 50, 60 quid for a brand new one, do you know what I mean? So there's no point in that. We might as well just chuck a new one in there, get it welded up. Um, but yeah, we've been underneath it. The rest of it is pretty sound. Like I say, all floor pans. Um, the box is renowned for going as well, aren't they? So we took that off. That is uh, over there. Hopefully you can see it somewhere about there. There's the two wings with a nice little dint in. But the actual box itself and everything else component-wise that we can find so far, is good um so the engine uh sorry yeah so let's get to the engine first of all um just while i'm around the back end the actual cross member the rear cross member looks okay and sounds okay but at the back of that that's been plated about three different times and i've got another one somewhere in my junk pile over there so that'll be getting replaced once we get this cab off uh, the back end off so here we go so if you didn't think that was enough work which it's actually not if you look at it if you know what you're doing and you're pretty handy with the welder happy days it should be okay 
fingers crossed. What we're going to do is we'll, we'll be taking pictures uh, because I don't know what I'm doing with it. Eventually, I might sell it, uh, even if I keep it for a bit and then sell it. I don't know. Um, but I want a proper like document library of obviously what it's like <laughs> and what we're going to. OK, because there is a, there's a lot to do. It's going to be a full like when I say full rebuild. We're basically going back to bare chassis, okay? The chassis will be all rubbed down, all fully coated with um, some decent paint, okay? It's gonna have brand new brake lines front to back. It's also gonna have brand new suspension, spring shocks, mounts, everything like that. So it, it drives, well, maybe not like a brand new one, but it's gonna drive a hell of a lot better than what it is. It doesn't drive that bad, even with the head gasket, we run it up and down the road um, and it wasn't that bad. So yeah, it's going to have everything like that. If we come across anything, so things like the A-frame, bits and bobs like that. So all those sort of ball joints in there, they're all going to be brand new at the same time as well. So should we get you around to the engine? Okay. So the engine itself, obviously I've just told you the head gasket was gone. As you can see, Steve's working on it. Happy days. Um, yeah, head gasket was gone. So, and it did actually come with a replacement engine, but I already had a, another replacement engine sat there and it was very, and as you can see, let's just show you, it is very clean, tidy. It's already been steam clean. So I wanted a nice clean engine in there. Um, so yeah, basically I chose for that engine. It's probably, I think it had about 128. So the clock at the minute, obviously I can't clock it or anything like that. It's got 200 and something on, but the engine itself's probably got about 128. Um, we started that the other day because the idea was, ah, let's get it stripped, let's get everything done. Um, but then we just sat back and thought, no, hang on a minute. Let's get the engine in. Let's make sure the engine's sound um, free of any major leaks anyway. It's a Land Rover, it's always gonna have a drop. Um, so we're gonna do that first. Let's get the engine in. We've had it running. Some of you've probably seen it on the Instagram. We've had it running. Um, the only downside, we've got a slight fault, maybe a crankshaft sensor, or we're just actually setting the timing on the injectors as well. Because um, it'll run, and then all of a sudden, it'll just die out, and it won't start again. So we're just running through bits and bobs with like that. Um, when it ran, it, it, it ran sweet, didn't it? Sweet as a nut sort of thing. So um, nice, quiet engine. So that's, that's the stage we're at with the engine. I just want to get everything like soundproof, leak free, make sure everything's right. Then it's coming out again. It'll get put on a pallet, okay? Uh, because obviously we've got a new loft clutch going in it with a super soft spring, uh, master cylinder, everything like that to go on yet anyway. But I just wanted to make sure it was sound. So we're gonna whip that out again once it is sound, um, make sure everything's okay. And then I say, what we'll do, I'll start buying components for the engine if it needs it. So like the washer bottle, obviously, bits and bobs like that, I want brand new because it's had the air gasket go running through that. And do you know what I mean? I want all new stuff like that on it. So yeah, that's where we're at with the engine. So yes, we've had it running, slight bit of a fault, but I want it running sweet. So that's what we're gonna do now. Um, then it's coming back out. So once it's back out, then we can start cracking on with a bulkhead coming out. I can then get to all parts like this. Like I said, the bulkhead's going to be whole, all, all stripped, uh, new parts welded back into there. Okay, so, and then once this whole tub comes off, I can have a proper good look at the rest of it. We've already had a decent look anyway, and everything, bar dirty, it sounds absolutely solid. You know, even on, under here, everything. Absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, that's where we're at, guys, uh, with it, really. I wanted to do this as a bit of a, yes, Happy New Year, and welcome back to the channel this year. But I just wanted to show you, some of you have seen it, the people that follow me on the Instagram probably see a little bit more, because I do post stories on there and update in regular. Um, but yeah, with this, it was just more of a, this is the first stage where we're at with it, and this is the first, decent bit of time we've had 
to get the engine out, get the get the other engine back in and start stripping it properly um, and finding out the problems because and now you've seen all the problems. If there's any more along the way, I'm sure I'm sure I'll show you. Um, I'm sure what we'll do is, like I say, it's going to be what we call a proper job. It's it, if it takes six months, it takes six months. Hopefully not. <laughs> uh, hopefully not. But yeah, it's it, the money's there to get it done. Uh, it's just having the time now to get it done. So we've got we've got a bit of downtime now in the next couple of weeks before we crack on again. Um, so yeah. That's where we're at with it, guys, okay? So, Steve's so just setting the injectors up slightly now. Um, we, I think we did a bit of a schoolboy error. So we obviously, when we changed the engine, this is the, the new engine that's going in. Uh, what we've done as well is changed the injectors from the old engine, because they were good. Seals, all brand new, it's back in there. Um, yeah, so obviously, we're just trying to set them up. So we don't know, there's a little wire on the crank, you probably won't be able to see it. Crankshaft sensor in here, uh, just sits on the on the flywheel, and that the, the wires to that are very very brittle. So we might end up chasing that back and replacing them. A uh, bit of a nightmare, but like I said, we want the engine right before we whip it out again, and we can get cracking with a body, chassis, suspension, brakes, everything like that. Then um, once once basically we've got this section done. We can crack on with the fun stuff and it should progress rather quick. Well, I'm hoping. I want to, What I want to do is get sorted out so we've got all the parts laid out. Um, like I said, we'll have a load of parts hopefully back into this week, body-wise. But there's no point of putting them on just yet until we've got this bob on. So, there we go, guys. That's where we're at with the Defender. Um, yes, I bought a Defender. Yes, I didn't want to own one just yet, but like I said, it's come up at the right price. It's got a lot of work that, that needs doing, as you've just seen. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna crack on with it while we've got a bit of downtime. You'll probably see the progress through stages. I can't video it all. I just physically haven't got the time. I've got the time to video it like this, because it's not too bad putting the phone down and putting the GoPro down, but it's actually editing it. I haven't physically got time. So you, what you're gonna see is, um, so we'll do a bit now and then maybe when I'm ready to do the body and get the A's, B's and C's and all the sills in. I'll probably film a little bit of that, welding it in and bits and bobs like that. Um, but I want to do it in sections just so you get an idea of exactly what we're doing to it. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm a Defender owner. <laughs> Never thought I would be. Obviously we've got two or three discos, but Defender's different kettle of fish. Um, but yeah, we're learning on the way because it's all, all new to us as well. It's the same engine as what we're used to, so yeah, looking forward to it, enjoying it as well, to be fair. So guys, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Um, if you can think of any problems that I might come across, then yeah, by all means, let us know. I'm up for as much constructive criticism as possible. Um, but more, more, more or less, I just wanted to get a quick video out to you, just say, this is what we're on with. Yes, I bought a Defender. Yes, it's gonna be a moneyless pit, but that's what I do, isn't it? Why not? Um, I've got loads of adventures planned so far for the first sort of quarter of this year as well. Uh, we're actually, where are we? So you'll be seeing us Thursday, this weekend that you see this video. We're actually going away to Nash Oakland Wild Camping. Uh, I don't know who's going, we've invited a few. Uh, a lot of people have got a lot of stuff going on at the minute, moving houses and everything. I know it's just first after the year, but I wanted to get a quick camp away. Uh, just before we start cracking back on the work and everything like that, really. Um, is there anything else to let you know? Not that I can think of, but guys, I just wish you a happy new year. And number one, and number two, should I say, is thank you for all your support over the last year or so. Um, literally, if it weren't for you guys, I mean, I'm, we're at what, 1,300 subscribers? So, I mean, I can't even imagine 1,300 people wanting to listen to me waffle on. So um, yeah, guys, I'm, I hope you like the content. Can't wait to keep showing you more of the, the Defender. Um, I can't wait to get the Defender done um, and now I've become a bank balance. <laughs> so uh, yeah, guys, it's gonna be good fun. Uh, stay tuned. Remember, if you're not subscribed, hit the little subscribe button, hit the little bell notification, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>